Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all well. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at this Multicomp Pro 4-in-1 rework soldering station. So the Multicomp Pro MP740029 has recently been released by a company called Farnell or Element 14, depending on which country you live in. They're actually the same company, uh, just uh, different brand names across the globe. It is a four-in-one rework soldering station and the four-in-one part means you get a, a heat gun, a soldering iron, a desoldering gun uh, and a pair of desoldering tweezers. Um, you also get a uh, pickup tool as well. And I recently purchased this uh, for the rework that we do uh, here at Booby. So what I thought I'd do is create this quick video, just show you some of the features and go through some of the specs. So the actual uh, heat gun itself, it is a heat gun with a pump inside the actual unit. So it's not uh, one of these heat guns where the pump and the heater is actually in the handle. It's actually in the unit itself, uh, which I do prefer. I think you get a lot better uh, heat coming out of the actual heat gun when the pump and the heating element is actually inside the unit and not in the handle. So specs wise, uh, it's actually a 550 watt uh, heat, uh, X heat gun with a temperature range from uh, 150 centigrade all the way up to 500 centigrade. You get a 130 watt soldering iron as well with a relatively small tip on it, uh, which is quite nice. And the actual tips themselves, they simply just pull out like so, and you can get replacement tips, and you obviously get tips with a lot smaller nibs on them. Um, checking on the Farnell websites, they're not actually released yet, the tips, but they are coming in the spring. Uh, Temperature-wise, that ranges up to 500 degrees centigrade as well. You have the desoldering gun as well. Uh, so not sure if you've ever used one of these, but uh, they are quite good. The tip obviously heats up uh, and it has a suction um, through to the, this barrel here which, which collects the, the solder. So you pull the trigger, suction goes through the gum uh, and the, the, the collected solder is here in the barrel and this pops off for you to empty as well. I have the trigger there. Um, I've got a review of a similar uh, gun uh, on my channel which I will add a link to in the description below. Um, and then you have the desoldering tweezers. Again, they go up to 500 degrees centigrade. And then with the kit, you also get these two soldering iron stands uh, with some soldering iron uh, cleaner there as well. You also get some spares. Uh, mainly the spares for the actual uh, desoldering gun, different filters and rubbers, as you can see through that. And then you have this uh, tool here, which is basically a suction tool to remove the components once you've heated it up. Now, operation wise, you have the heat gun, which is always connected. You have two ports here, so you can either connect the soldering iron and it's a simple push fit. Connect the, the, uh, the soldering iron up or the, the device up and give the locking nut a twist, like so. And similar for, say, the desoldering gun. Pops in there and give it a twist. Now, obviously the thing to remember is you only have one suction uh, pump here. So you can only use the uh, desoldering gun or the actual uh, pickup tool itself. Um, you can't use them at the same time, so you have to use them independently. Now let's turn it on and I'll just quickly run through some of the features. Power switch is on the front here. Takes a few seconds to boot up. And then you have this nice display. And the functionality is quite good actually. So first button here, that switches the suction pump off and on. Then you basically have three memory banks. Now it's all auto detect what tool you've got plugged into 
uh, which port, so you've got ports one and two. And then through here, you can actually switch on and off the actual tools and set the temperature. So if I push and hold number one, because I've got my soldering iron plugged in, the red light comes on and it starts uh, raising temperature. Now through the green buttons here on the right hand side, you can raise to your desired temperature. To say it goes all the way up to 500 degrees centigrade. Or obviously you can lower that down a bit. And you see this setting down here, that's actually your target temperature down here. Now the big numbers, that's the actual real temperature of the actual device. So my soldering iron currently is sitting at 464 degrees. So if I set it to 450, well, let's go a little bit lower, so let's say 399 is set, 399 down here. And then the temperature eventually will drop down to 399. And as I say, that's the real, what they cast as the real temperature, the temperature of the actual tip on the soldering iron. And then similar for if you have another device, uh, plugged in. Uh, so if we plug the soldering iron gun in, we can then just turn it on by going to function two. And then finally, number three is for the actual heat gun itself. So let's turn it on, push and hold. You can hear the fan start to come up. And then again, we've set a target of 500 degrees and we can lower that here. Pushing the down button. Let's go down to 400 and it will get up to temperature quite quickly actually. Now by pushing the number three button again, it switches it to fan speed. So the uh, digits on the far right are highlighted and then we can raise the fan up to 99 or we can lower the fan all the way down to 25. That's the range you've got. And obviously the heat starts coming out relatively quickly. As you can see, in a number of, oh, probably I'd say a minute or so, it actually gets up to temperature. If you want to switch the uh, heat gun off completely again, just push and hold number three, and it switches it off. The fan will stay on because it's cooling the heat gun, and similar for the other two devices as well. So if I push and hold number one, that's the soldering iron off. You see the fan now has cooled the heat gun enough for it to switch off. So overall, a nice bit of kit. Now, maximum power is 900 watts. So that means, yeah, whatever devices you attach, because you can buy additional uh, multi-comp devices, they must uh, not be over a total of 900 at any one time. So the actual uh, heat gun itself takes 550 of that. So you kind of drop down to 450 already. Soldering iron, this one I've got is 130 watts, which comes with the kit. You can get up to 150 watt soldering iron. The actual heat, uh, sorry, desoldering gun itself, that is 150 watts. The electronic tweezers, the desoldering tweezers here, they are 100 watts as well. So as you can say, when you start adding these things up, maximum 900 watts running at any one time. Price wise, uh, I purchased this for just over 800 pounds. Uh, so what's that around? Just over a thousand dollars. And they are available, as I say, from Farnell or uh, Element 14, uh, which is, I believe, the trading name for the company in the US and also some parts of Europe. I will leave a link in the description below so you can take a look at the specs yourself. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, just a quick one this week, just to give you an overview of the Multicomp Pro MP740029. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe to the channel. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.